So here's the coil coating that has been put into place while the unit was in operation. So this unit has been used for eight years right now and it's due for a PM service. And there was a lot of mildew growing inside this unit because this unit does not have MERV 16 filters on it. So it gets dirty inside, the pan gets dirty. Uh, but after eight years, you expect that. So I have the light coats on all the upper fin, but as you can see the difference in color down here, I have three heavy coats just on the last two tubes. This is where all the filth and chemicals come dripping down in the water and this bottom section that sits down in the pan, this always stays wet all the time. So that's the area where any of the acids or chemical reactions mostly happen are right there. And you usually, we always find the leaks, usually at the ends for some reason in the last few inches. On this one, there was a little pinhole. Really, we're talking only a few parts per million using uh, the stra a stratus in this area on the other side. And then cover up all the copper in the end. So you want no exposed copper because we all know we get the pinholes from the corrosion on the end of the copper and where the steel has the galvanized and it touches the copper where it meets in the ends, the galvanized has started rusting away at the bottom parts. So I cleaned that off and then painted it and it has three coats of epoxy. And so the same goes for the other side and I'll take you over there. So we cleaned out the pan, sterilized, and used antifungicides on uh, the insulation on the inside of the fans. So to kill any future fungus, it leaves a, a coating on there. So here's the outside of the coil. And so that's three colts of Golf Coat uh, Blue Coil Coater right there. And then I have uh, light coats there on the top ends, but where we always find the leaks are usually always the bottom coil, the very, very bottom coil. And so I have extra heavy coating right there. Now this will go overnight. We'll put it in heating mode in the next couple hours. This has been sitting overnight, uh, but this morning I hit it with one final coat in this last row right down here. And uh, this will go back into operation. But uh, if you have corrosive toxic chemicals, you have a lot of ammonia that you use for sterilants inside your place, sulfur, ammonia, chlorine, uh, you need some protection. All right, see you guys later.